Hello and welcome. Today I'm doing a tutorial for Tinker's Construct. So I'm doing this tutorial for a YouTuber who is having trouble, Strawberry Jam. But this tutorial is for everybody. So if you're having trouble, be be uh, sure to just uh, watch this video and have no trouble. Okay. So there are a couple of ways you can use Tinker's Construct. I'm gonna show you most of the ways and you know just be creative. Okay, so one of the ways which are pretty basic is to make stone tools. Now stone tools you you might think they're really bad, but if you do a stone tool really good, it might actually be good. So let's say you do not have enough stuff to make a smeltery that the smeltery is to craft alloys and everything. So let's say you don't have enough things to do that. You can make a stone tool and add modifiers. So a really good stone tool I find is a wooden tool rod, paper binding, and a stone pickaxe head. Once you craft this, craft this. Um, I know a couple of upgrades that might help you. So the diamond upgrade will make it so that it's able to mine obsidian. Okay. Redstone upgrade will increase the mining speed as at it, which it mines. With the paper um, tool part, it will give you four modifiers instead of only three. So that is really good. And the lapis just adds fortune. This I find is a really good pick because you can go mining and then you can just repair it with cobblestone. Okay? That is a really good pick, but it's not the best. If we come over here, we'll see that there here how to make a smeltery. So the small smeltery you can make is of this size. So three by three of sear bricks. Sear bricks are crafted uh, like so. So if you search sear bricks, you need sear brick or grout. Grout is crafted just with sand, gravel, and clay. Now there, I have a really good tip for you people that have uh, m may have other mods installed. So if you have some kind of mod that can create cobblestone, then I have a really good tip for you. And you also have a mod that can supply lava. Here's a really good tip. So, you got your lava in your tank, and you got pretty much everything. Okay? So you get um, some kind of uh, thing that can pipe it into, and then you get your cobblestone, and when the cobblestone is finished, it will create seared stone. So this is another way to create the seared bricks. Seared stone. Let me just look for the recipe. So if we look for recipe, okay, it doesn't show here. But when you get enough cobblestone to make in enough seared stone, you can pump it out into a casting basin. It'll give you seared stone. After this, you can use a chisel to get seared paper. chiseled sear bricks and then the sear bricks so if you don't have any more clay or sand or, or gravel that is another way you can do it if you have sufficient lava and cobble I'll show you that an example about that in another world that I have from Tinker's Construct which I use other mods also so these are the books that will help you, help you with Tinker's Construct you can learn everything from these books. There's also a fun book to read about how the mod author uh, got this idea or just a fun story I guess. You can read it if you want. You can just craft this by putting a mighty smelting into a crafting table. Okay, so let's get on with the better tools. So what you'll want is to get some alamite. So alamite is an alloy made in the smeltery, so you will, you will actually need smeltery to make this. Okay, so now we're gonna place some lava into here. 
we're gonna put one obsidian. You're also gonna need an iron ore. And five elamites. So just for demonstrations, I'm gonna put two. So the smeltery will output your uh, things. So this will get us about six pieces of elamites. So six ingots. So let me just let's just wait for it to uh, convert into an alloy. It was done. There you go. So you got six pieces of elamite. So now we're gonna also need some casts to actually put the element into a tool. Right? So we're gonna make some aluminum brass. And while we're at it, we're gonna need some kind of piece to put the mold in. So I'm just gonna make a obsidian pickaxe. Now, yes, if uh, you get obsidian, which there's actually a way to get obsidian using uh, the smeltery which is you don't need obsidian like you don't actually need the actual diamond you can get obsidian without diamond but I'll show you that later but yes you can make obsidian tools but they they have really low durability um, a normal obsidian tool would have about 63 durability I believe so it's not really that efficient to get a tool like that the, the stone tool is actually better than just uh, obsidian tool. So take that in mind. Okay, so we got our aluminum brass. We're gonna mold it. So now we got a pickaxe mold. And now we'll put the alamite in. So alamite is a really, really good material. If you open your materials in you two book, you can check to uh, all of the things here. And alamite will have full tool delivery full tool du durability of 700, 715 mining speed of 8 and you can mine cobalt with it so this is really important here that you can mine cobalt so if we get some flint and steel we're gonna head to the nether now so in the nether Tinker's Constructs adds new ores it adds cobalt and ardite so cobalt and ardite are really important to make the oops, new tools that you want, the best tools. So if we just go to the nether here. So you know how to make alamite and you can customize your alamite tool however you want. And well now you go to the nether which is taking a little while to load Oops. okay and if you explore the, ne the nether you'll eventually find some ores so here we go cobalt so when you got your tool uh... You, let's just say you made a full alamite pickaxe you can actually break the cobalt and get back eventually if you keep exploring there you go there's the ardite so you can get ardite and cobalt so you want to get, I don't know, a couple of pieces. Just have enough to make some tools. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make some tools. So we're going to get some more cobalt and some more dite. So this, this isn't, the only way to get them is from the nether. Okay, let me get some more lava. And now we're going to make the best tool ever. So the best tools that I find are these. So you can basically get all the casts and everything. So I'm not gonna actually smell the cobalt and ardite. Though I will give you a warning. Do not put the cobalt and the ardite together if you want to make for example a cobalt head and then a tool rod out of ardite. They will combine to make manulin. Manulin is really good but it doesn't have the best mining speed if you want the best mining speed you should probably get something else okay so I'm going to show you the tools that I find that are really good so if we go to two parts let me show you the tool part for a pickaxe so a pickaxe that I find really good is Art Day Tool Rod 
then the percent around here. Let me just search cobalt. Cobalt head, pickaxe head, and the paper binding. So this is the best tool that I find for the pickaxe. Okay? So this is why why it's the best tool. So if we check our book over I lost it. Here. If we check our book, you will see that under cobalt it has the best mining speed of all other things. Okay? Now Artite has a really good handle modifier. Better than cobalt and better than pretty much anything. So this is the same as Ardite. So Ardite and Slime have the uh, blue slime that you find in just the overworld looking for uh, slime islands that are floating islands, just floating. And you can get them from there. But Ardite is pretty much the, the good deal. Now, Manilan has a better handle modifier, but Ardite has Stonebound level 2. Now, what Stonebound does is the l lower the the pickaxe is of durability, the faster it will go. So this is pretty much the fastest pick you can get. You can also add four more modifiers. So you can add redstone to make it even faster. And etc. Whatever you want. So yeah, lapis, whatever you want. Emeralds to get 50% durability. Everything like that. Okay. Now let me show you the best sword. So best sword for me that I normally use is this. So I don't, I normally use a cactus sword rod, paper white guard, and a manuelin blade. Why? Well, here's why. Manuelin tool rod, uh, the manuelin uh, sword blade, I mean, will get you a lot of durability and a lot of hearts so manilin is the best weapon uh, you can get cactus tool rod it's not really that good of a tool rod but it's kind of like stonebound so the lower the durability the more attack it does and just the paper binding to uh, white guard to get more uh, modifiers so I normally put quartz into these guys to make them uh, more attack damage. So as we can see, five from white hearts. As we put more cords, six hearts, and it just goes on and on. And I also put looting into my sword. Now let me show you some other tier two um, oh, tools that I normally use. So the my tools that I, three tools that I normally use are the excavator. It can dig in a three by three. A lumber axe, it can dig also in a 3x3, and a hammer, which can also dig in a 3x3, and it has smite for attack. So it's a really good weapon, and it's a really good mining uh, tool. So the best things that I use for here, normally for my hammer, I use paper, a large plate. You need 18 paper for this, so because paper is only half of a uh, tool part so if we check here uh, for example one paper so it's only half and paper is also half so it'll take the whole paper as with this you can't do it with one you need two because this is a whole all right just an example there okay and then I use a hammerhead of cobalt and a tough oh, tool rod um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, here it is. Tough tool rod, Manilan. So we combine these together. These have really good stats. Okay, so 10,000 durability. It has a mining speed of 2.79, but as it goes on, it'll have much more the uh, mining speed because of the art date. And you can also add redstone blocks. 
four modifiers and you can mine cobalt. So you can actually use this in the nether. So what I normally do is I'll add a diamond upgrade, emerald upgrade. So now it has a lot of durability. So that's 16,000 durability. And I just add the rest of the modifiers of redstone. And this is really fast. So right here it's 7.44. As it goes down, it will be much faster. And you can also add the gold block plus diamond uh, to get another modifier and the nether start to get another modifier. Okay? I will also show these tools in another world. Then the uh, excavator. So I use an iron uh, uh large plate. One of these. Uh, no. Uh, I'm sorry. No. For this is actually different. You only use one of these heads. Excavator, I use a cobalt. And the same manual and uh, tough tool rod. So this is pretty much the same as a hammer. Except it just uses a digging. I don't really put emeralds or diamonds into this. Because it's not necessary. This as it is digs pretty quickly. So I'll... Well no, it's, it's in some mine, but... Yeah, this uh, is pretty quickly as it is, so I don't put much uh, uh, durability modifiers, but it's useful. Also, I don't recommend to put moss on your hammer or excavator, or lumber axe for that matter, because um, moss will take too long to repair it. It's just a waste of some modifier. Just use cobalt to repair it. It will last really long time. So, also a tip. When you're, if you're gonna put a diamond and an emerald to your tool, put the diamond first, then the emerald, because diamond will give you 50, 500 durability more, and then the emerald gives you 50%. So you'll earn like about 250 more, just a little bit uh, more, but I mean it helps with the tool. Okay, and last but not least the lumber axe. So I use uh, cobalt. Of course, cobalt heads are pretty much the best. Sweep scene. And I use paper, tough binding. You need a tough binding for these tier 2 tools. Manulin and the artite. Yeah, just these. And this is really good because it chops down all of the tree. This works with uh, jungle trees and everything. Okay, so these are the, base, the, the best tools. And now I'm going to go into another world, which I've been actually playing on. And I'll show you my stuff. So um, I actually use other mods on that world. So uh, I think you can do it with Tinkers. But the lava is actually hard to get. So... Yeah, it's not too good. So this is what I was talking about. So seared stone, three blocks. So we put it here. It'll give us seared stone. So we already got. I guess delete it. It'll give you seared stone with that, and then you can just convert it into tiered bricks. Also, just a tip: you don't have to use seared bricks. You can use like cobble bricks. Uh, these you can actually use them on the smeltery. So as we can see. This is still working. If we put it on this level, it's going to work. And you can use this for everything, I guess. Um, just the bricks look nicer, and that's why mostly people use the bricks. But you can use the stone if you want, and all of that. Alright, so now I'm going to go into my other world and show you people. Okay, so I'm in this world now. Um, okay, so here's some, what I'm going to show you now. So this might. Uh, I also got a axe and the shovel just, just because this is our are they tool rod are they tool rod right here this is my kind of like normal pick that I would use this is my like mining pick I got fortune 2 stone bound all, all the things um I don't wait did I maybe they're not uh, completely maybe I, I think I used my nolan on these guys I'm not sure though they have moss, so I can't really check. But 
Here's what I put in my pickaxe, which is uh, cobalt head, iodide uh, tool rod, and paper binding. My my uh, my thing here. I got red diamond, redstone diamond, all of the good things in here. A lot of durability. I think I'll add emerald when I get like more stuff. Uh, when I get another star, because I already used all my upgrades. Then I got my sword, a lot of quartz, lapis, moss. I also got a bow. I just I this is basic bow, but I mean it's good, but I I'm not sure if it's the best. All right. So this is the pick that you want if you don't really use it for mining. If you like, if you got automatic miner or something like that, this is the pick that you want. This is really good durability. Uh, you can put redstone upgrades to make it faster. It's really fast. But yeah, and my uh, chopper, this guy, the same as I showed. So let me test them out now. For you, the people, for the people that are watching at home. So uh, here's what I meant with uh, the seared stone. So here I um, I got a infinite cobble generator that pumps uh, cobblestone into this hopper. It's just uh, extra utilities. It's another mod. It's really cool. Uh, also, I use uh, infinite lava here, so it's getting infinite lava. It's getting seared stone, and then it's pumping it. Uh, I I get a hopper. You can put hoppers in these things, and you can even put hoppers in the below these guys, and they won't take the cast. They only take the things that the cast uses. So I got infinite cobble here. That's how I get all my things, and then I just use a chisel to chisel it out. Uh, I got a lot of mods into this, but I mean, you can kind of see how you can automate that. And this is another mod that Tinker Steel works. It's not Tinker's Control, but it gets you steel and stuff. But yeah, let me show these guys. So they're pretty fast. Yeah, that's how fast it is with all the upgrades and everything. Here's my to go pick. So kind of fast, a little bit slow could be faster I haven't put all the redstone cuz I in this world I'm kind of running out of redstone I also got the exo armor from Tinker's Construct of, as well use uh, bronze plates to do them bronze plates are just uh, bronze in the liquid casting it's pretty easy well it's kind of hard uh, I guess if you don't have enough materials but I got enough this is too good right no it's not too good but it's also good that's what I meant. Um, this it says right here, 18 damage. Um, my bow, I don't, I don't have any arrows right now. Wood chopper, pretty good. Uh, let me. The lumber axe. Uh, not only will it do full trees, but it'll do three by trees. Okay, so three by three there. And I have um, Tinker's uh, Mechworks. It's an add-on made by the actual author, but it's just uh, using some drawbridges to open this. It's a little laggy, so let me just put um, a little bit of these, because I do of often lag in this world. Hope you guys don't mind. All right, so like that, pretty fast. So these are pretty much the best tools you can get. Um, let me just show off the hammer a little bit more. But I do recommend to put emerald upgrade into this, like that. Pretty fast, I gotta say. Um, but yes, uh, I do recommend to put moss on. I don't recommend to put put moss on this guy, cause like it's really slowly going, and it yeah. I don't recommend putting moss on that guy, but maybe on your sword and maybe these guys if you don't use them a lot but I don't know moss is for hey I'm gonna use it sometimes but not all the time so think about that if you're gonna use moss on your tools but yes uh, also if you want to know how to put speed on these just uh, go to your uh, table here nope. and put redstone next to it and yeah also a tip if you put um, uh, 
one of these of tool forge. You can make it like that. You can also use any kind of uh metal block. It doesn't have to be iron. So you can use like gold or um, copper, tin, all of the blocks. So yeah, just a tip there. And if you put it next to it, you can put a tinker stable. So you can put like, for example, redstone all around and stuff. Though I wouldn't recommend that because there's a bug still on this. Um, that um, if you put it uh, like too much redstone blocks, it will overdo it, and then you can't put any more redstone blocks. So just be careful using this thing. It'll also grab from the next adjacent chest. So for example. Uh, if the chest is right here, I can grab a paper, and they're not there anymore, and if I put them back there. So it's pretty good. Pretty cool. That's from Thinkers. Uh, but yes, uh, these are the best tools and things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. So, Strob, if, if you are watching this, uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I, I love your videos. Pretty awesome. Keep up the amazing work, and... If you need help with any other mod, I can uh, gladly just make another video. Uh, I'll be glad. I'll be glad to do it. Uh, I'm sorry if there was lag or anything. Uh, I'm running this on a laptop, but yeah, just uh, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you for watching. So here's how to make the best tools, pretty much. Uh, you do have to go to the nerf for a little bit of while, but uh, yeah. Also, remember, like, uh, you need alumite pick, but it's not too hard. You just need, like, obsidian and al aluminium and stuff. And you get these tools pretty fast. Like, um, this one, I got it, like, pretty much in first the first hours that I've been playing. Um, but yeah, just a tip. Also, just a little tip if you don't have any diamonds, but you want to get uh, like all of these tools. You don't need any diamonds to get these tools. What you can do is, uh, I think you can do it with tinkers. I'm not even sure. Uh, but you can pump lava into your system. So, for example, again, use these transfer pipes right here from Extra Utilities um, to pump lava into this guy, the drain, and it'll pump lava into the smeltery. So, for example, um, uh, let me. How can I quickly show this? All right, I I, I can't. Uh, well, you get the point. And then you put water into it, into the drain, and then uh, you can get obsidian. I think you can do it using the Tinker Construct channels, the channels, and then you just need one of these tanks. Connect the channel to into the drain. I think it'll work. I'm not sure, I haven't tested it, but connect the channel into the drain, place water into the tank, just uh, then use one of these to pump the water out into the smeltery, and it'll turn completely into obsidian. And then you can use your obsidian, uh, obsidian pickaxe to mine some obsidian, go to the nether, get all of these tools, get an alumite tool. So you don't even need diamonds. But anyways, um, oh, I still have it on peaceful. But I have this magnet torch, which is from Extra Utilities again. Extra Utilities is really a good mod. I also recommend it, um, which won't spawn any mobs. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I guess Strob, if you're watching this, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for clicking the link and taking your time uh, to watch this. Thank you. And I'm not asking for a shout out, but like don't don't even say my channel because I don't use this channel anymore mostly um, but just say hey this cool guy sent me a video and thanks thanks just, just say thanks <laughs> thanks for watching anyways I think I'm gonna end it now but you can get the pretty much best tools of Tinker's Concert right here and they're kind of easy to make Although just be just be careful not to put our date and co cobalt together because that is uh, deadly. All right, see ya.